She is a TV icon, she's a Tony winner, and a movie star. And this week she has a new film coming out. It's called Frankie and Alice. Felicia Rashad joins us right now at HuffPost Live. So good to see you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Did you appreciate at the time the type of cultural impact that The Cosby Show was having and that Claire Huxtable in particular was having? I don't think I appreciated it as fully as I do now hmm. uh, because I was in the midst of working and I was having such a good time doing it. I think it would have ruined the work had I been thinking in terms of the cultural impact that it was having. Yeah. I think the fact that I didn't focus on that probably served the work very well. Absolutely. How, how do you think The Cosby Show compares to current sitcoms? I mean, oh, no comparison. <laughs> <laughs> That's an honest answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. There just isn't. You know, okay, so I was in um, a class at Howard University, uh, Greek literature in the Greek theater, okay, yeah. and Dr. Frank Snowden was the professor. So he said to us one day, after we'd been studying the classics for a while, he said, okay, which do you prefer, drama or comedy? And I was, you know, a drama student. I said, I like the drama. I love the drama. He said, really? He said, well, Felicia, that's very interesting, you know. Drama appeals to the emotions. Comedy appeals to the intellect. Wow. Really? Really. So the difference between Mr. Cosby's humor and what you see a lot today, yeah. think about that, appeals to the intellect. Did you have a lot of input into sort of the directions that she went in as, as the character grew and as the show went longer, we saw different aspects of it. We saw Claire's work life, for example, moving on. Were, were those deliberate decisions that you made in terms of how the world would see Claire? Not the decisions that I made. These were natural outgrowth of the development of the character through the writing. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense. We had a team of writers who were paying attention. This is something else that's different in television today. Yeah. I just recently was on another uh, television show and I wondered if the writers were ever in the same room together. Wow. Yeah, because it's, it's different, they work differently today. But then the writers were in the same room all the time and they're paying attention and they're growing and they're moving together, you know. Today it's a little bit different. I am a student of Siddha Yoga Meditation mm -hmm. and I have been a student of Siddha Yoga Meditation for almost 34 years now. Really? Yes. And so when you engage in uh, this very earnest practice, and you engage in spiritual practice of any kind that is real, and with a, a real teacher, a master as a teacher, um, Every aspect of your life is touched by that, and that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Has it affected your art? In what ways has it informed your art, I should say? The practice of meditation is introspective in nature, yes? Yeah. No. When the gaze, when your mental gaze is turned inside, and focused within. The perception of who you are becomes clearer. And as the perception of who you are becomes clearer to you, there's also a greater understanding and a clearer perception of energy creative energy, what it is, where it lies, why it is, what it means. Does it serve you? Do you serve it? Wow, that's heavy stuff. It's beautiful. It is incredibly beautiful. I'm working on my eighth television show, so I really can't be mad at um, you know, how Cosby really you know, pushed my, my career forward at 13 years old.